want to check out the pollinator garden which is right over here by the RV park I'm just gonna pull over here on the side of the road for now but there it is right there pollinator garden when we want to go look at the butterflies <laughs> and bees Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We're still here at the Lady Bird Johnson Memorial Park. And I just want to start this video out with a walk through the pollinator garden. It looks really beautiful. I love this bridge. And I like the rustic wood that they used. Too cool. This is built and maintained by Friends of Fredericksburg's Nature Center. I believe this is a honeysuckle vine. But how cool is that? Isn't that so inviting? Welcome. Oh, wow. It's not a big garden, but look at all the butterfly. Huh. Okay, let's start on the side with the butterflies and the bees. God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> the little drawings of the inchworm and the butterfly. I think that was actually a caterpillar. Oh, those butterflies are just going crazy. Look at all the bees. Holy moly. It's just swarming with insects. This is amazing. This is what I want. <laughs> oh, look at the beautiful butterfly. Oh, it just landed. Is that a monarch? That is a monarch. How cool. Wow, so many. Well, this is just peaceful. Got a rose bush there. Not sure what's going on over here, huh? What? Because all the bugs are backlit. Oh, really? There's hundreds, if not thousands, in that. Oh, wow, look it. You're right, there are like hundreds of bees and butterflies. Oh, that's a beautiful butterfly. I could just sit here for hours. Although that sun, they should have chose a, like a, a, a shadier <laughs> spot because this the sun's beating down. Right on me. So the sun's kind of hot. wonder what that is that attracts all the pollinators because that seems to be, well, they do like this area over here too. Huh. Oh, this looks like a better spot over here. Wow, look at all these. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly. How pretty. Yeah, they probably have drip system all through here. Oh no, it's, wow, they have overhead sprinklers. So this overhead sprinklers, which you think they wouldn't do, because that usually wastes a lot of water. Yeah, they collect rain off the roof here. Oh, they, oh nice, look at that. I feel like I'm back on the property, rainwater collection. <laughs> I love this structure. Yeah. I would love to build something yeah, like this. It's all natural, look at all the wood and stuff. Yeah. Well, besides the benches. The benches are definitely metal. Yeah. And the roof is metal, but other than that, I love it. Yeah, you can put those plastic corrugated things on the, on the roof instead of the metal. And right, and then just um, add like natural pieces of wood to the yeah. deck. Yeah. So it looks nice. Oh, this feels much better over here. It's not in the blazing sun. Mumu, you want to come up here? Come on. Come on. There's enough room. Good girl. Yes. Let's enjoy. Just sit, relax, and enjoy. Yes, do you like butterflies? Not to eat. No, we don't want to eat the butterflies. That's Kellogg probably over there. He totally would eat a butterfly. We ended up staying over there at this Walmart parking lot. It was actually pretty quiet. And it's pretty cool here. They saved this tree, so they made the roads go around this huge oak tree. That's pretty cool. Jeff's already went on. I'm going to meet him later. I've got to find some propane, so that's where I'm headed to now. Merry Christmas. You already got some Christmas decorations going on. Kerrville's known for really decorating. I've been here before during Christmas. It's 
Nice. Whoa, what happened? Well, that was a lot of gas coming out. <laughs> I did call ahead of time and the lady said that they do fill RVs here. Good. It's a front one. No, it's the middle one. Wait, hold on. I mean, sorry, the back. Back right there. Do I need it? No, right here. Jeff had called around the propane places and everybody was wanting four dollars or more. This was the cheapest place that I found, and it was three thirty a gallon. The tenant was very nice and helpful, and so was the cashier. But also, they put rubber stoppers on my tanks, which is awesome. Very good service here. All right, we're gonna get down the road. Got to go back to Kerrville. Kerrville Cracker Barrel. Okay, I'm setting your destination to Cracker Barrel Old Country Store in Kerrville. Awesome. I'm gonna get my seatbelt on for Lucky Starts dinging at me really annoyingly. Um, I think I'm gonna go around the block. This way, she said the roads get pretty tight. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go this way. It's telling me to go the other way. Take the next left onto Apple Street, then turn left onto South Eagle Street. No, no, I'm not going that way. You're taking me the back roads. Don't want to do that. Thank you, Mr. Bosley. Take the next right onto East Main Street, there then you go. turn right onto East Highway Street. Unfortunately, we never did get to go check out downtown, but like I said, I'd been there before. Okay, Bosley, you're just trying to take me down these back roads. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Friendship Lane. <laughs> she said the roads were kind of tight, but they seem kind of big, so maybe she was just speaking about where the propane place was. We actually walked this road yesterday. Right, Moo Moo? Oh no, where's she at? Now she's actually chilling in the back. It's actually rare that she does that, but every once in a while she likes to hang out back there. We are gonna be going back the way we came. It's just the easiest or easier route. Continue on Friendship Lane for two miles. I wanted to stop somewhere real quickly before heading back to Kerrville. So that's where we're going now. It just was very peaceful to me, so I want to go just relax for 10 to 15 minutes. Not the airport. <laughs> I cannot believe more people don't come here and just sit. It's just peaceful, relaxing, just good for the soul. And the, just watching the butterflies just remind me of little garden fairies just fluttering around so peacefully. This is kind of what I want to get the property looking like, just full of flowers for the pollinators, the bees and the butterflies. And I know I'm starting to get there because I saw my first bumblebee this season. I've seen butterflies there before, but not as many as here, but just a few. But mainly it's the hummingbird moths that back at home that are real prevalent. Yes, I'd love the property to look like this, but everything needs time to establish. So I just have to be patient, which I'm not very at times.
You ready to hit the road, Moo Moo? All right, five more minutes and we'll go. <laughs> so the yellow flowers I've been seeing along the roadside and everywhere is actually got an unusual name. It's Skeleton Leaf Golden Eye. It's a common name. And the white fluffy ones that the bees love is the tropical threefold. And the purple one that the butterflies love is a blue mist flower. That is pretty. It's a considered a ground cover. And I think it would do well on the property, so I'll probably get some when I get back. Oh, there's a bumblebee on there. Hey, Mr. Bumblebee. This looks like it's going out of season, but this is blood sage. And when it has blooms all over it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Here's a better shot of the blood sage flower. This one definitely looks bushier. It likes its spot. There's another red flower to plant. I thought they were the same, but it's not. This one is actually wax mallow. And it's got, it kind of reminds me of a bleeding heart. And I've seen this plant before as well, but it had yellow flowers on it. Now it's just the seed heads. Well, there's some spent flowers. You can tell it's yellow. This one actually is a sunflower. It's the Maximilian. I just want to come back and name some of the plants so that way I have them for future reference. I keep them in my phone just in case I want to get some for the property. Buy you amazingly beautiful garden. I'm so envious. Definitely want this on the property. Just amazing. Ugh. This is my favorite part. This arbor with the gate. So this is right next to the pollinator garden. I'm not sure exactly what it is. If it's for gatherings or if it's historic. Looks like they do have gatherings though. There's picnic tables. It's a nice big huge cement courtyard. I know Mama, I just couldn't stay away from that garden. <laughs> you ready now? All right, you're waiting so patiently. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I know, I said I was leaving, but I just can't seem to leave this park. <laughs> I love it here. Anyways, there was one thing that I saw the other day when we were here and I was wondering if it was another path, so we're gonna go take a look real quick. This was the beautiful, awesome, amazing path that we took the other day in the other video, so don't forget to go check that out. But I saw this, Vista Loop Nature Trail, and I didn't realize it was an actual trail, so we're gonna go hiking. I thought it was talking about the other trail, then I remembered the arrow. I was like, well, that wasn't pointing in the right direction. So we've come back to check it out and have a look-see. Hey, Momo. It's tree-lined, leaves all over the ground. Wow. Oh, there's some low branches or vines that you have to watch out for here. Wow. Those are some sturdy vines. It's really pretty. Hmm, it opens up up here. Oh wow, this definitely reminds me of Arizona through here, at the cactus and the rocks. Yes, I've definitely been on hikes in Arizona that looked similar to this. Oh, there's the waterway we were on the other side last time. Nice. Wow, this place really is amazing. I do enjoy myself here. Back to the tree covered path. Still has rock steps though, natural steps. Amazing. prickly pear all over the hillside. So I decided to just stand still for a second. Ah, stupid airplane. Look how beautiful it is through here. Other than the airplane, <laughs> they kind of ruined it a little bit. It's a shame that this is right by an airport, but it is still very beautiful. Wow, why do I hear so many birds?
Huh. It's weird. I see a wooden fence there. What is this? <laughs> it's funny when I make noise, the birds kind of quiet down a little bit, or if I'm walking. Hey, birdie birds. <laughs> All right, we made it back out. There's the main road there for the park. I don't know what these trees are that they're protecting. Oh, that's an interesting bird house. I love how they painted the post. Trail this way. I went the other way. Look at that interesting bird house. So cool. What is this? So it says you cannot go into this area. Do not enter. It has an interesting gate here. I love all their gates and fences and structures made out of natural wood. Recent sighting. So this is a bird viewing area. <gasps> Look at it. Has a water source. It's funny though. And there's also um, some feeding stations. And I was saying it's funny though because none of the birds are in here. They're in that big, huge, bushy tree. Well, it's actually a short, bushy tree over there. That's the one I just passed and they are just all up in there. It's weird they're not in the water feature drinking from that. My neighbor Sue has a water feature right next to their RV that feeds the birds. It's awesome. Forgot to tell her, but it's amazing. <sighs> How peaceful. From the water feature to the pollinator garden, there's just so much. Little bird feeding stations. I have to feed birds already, my chickens, so. I don't know if I'll be doing the bird feeding stations. That will bring more birds. I'll scroll down the list of recent sightings if y'all want to pause and read. Maybe I'm going slow enough. And these are the birds that have been seen feeding in the area. We do get birds on the property. Because I grow the sunflowers for them. And all the other flowers as well. Oh, they're coming to feed. Okay, I'll just be quiet. It's weird, I'm quiet and all the birds stopped chirping. Oh, there they go. How amazing was that? Okay, I think that leads back out to the parking lot. There's an actual parking lot up here. Or you can park, but my rig's kind of big, so I park down the road a little bit. And this is pretty cool here. Oh, some kind of drainage. And then the stairs. Another little bench. Is this the path? No. No, it's a watering station, actually. Is this another pollinator garden? I know this is specifically a butterfly exhibit, but there were so many more butterflies at the other place. There's a few here. Yeah, definitely not like the other place. Still beautiful though. Let's see, butterfly exhibit. Here's the life cycle of the queen butterfly. That's the one that I saw that I thought was a monarch. There's it in its cocoon. Oh, another shot. There's it as its larvae, the caterpillar. And here's all the different butterflies. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me just go through them real quick. If y'all need to stop so you can read or pause, go for it. Just gonna scroll down these. So many beautiful butterflies. Seen the yellow one before. Wow, they have tons of butterflies here. That's a really beautiful one there. The kind of blackish one with the uh, blue wings. There's the yellow 
one again, but that one's the dog face. The other one was a little yellow tail. All right. That's it. This garden contains some of the favored host and nectar plants of a variety of butterfly species. Please visit the pollinator garden adjacent to the swimming pool. Yep, I've seen that one. That's where we were. Definitely not as many butterflies here. Ready, Momo? You done staring at the butterflies? Let's continue on and see where this goes. Another bench with an info board. Oh. Oh, it's just a map of Texas. So I think this is the area we're in here, the green area. It's actually a geological highway map of the Texas region. This is the parking lot I was talking about that I wasn't sure if I could turn around, so I didn't park there. Oh, I always take Moo Moo's picture when I find those metal butterfly benches. That's the smallest one I've seen. I'll have to grab a picture and put it on Facebook or Instagram. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, the links are in the description below. Oh, wow, this is a good vantage point. You can see all the tops of the trees. Can't really see the river though. Our nature trails. So it talks about the pollinator garden. Oh, there's hummingbirds here. This looks like the pin cushion. Here is the map, overview map. Ooh, poison ivy. You can always tell it has that kind of thumb. Looks like a weird hand with a thumb that's curled in. Oh, it's bright and sunny. Definitely don't want any poison ivy. No, no, no. Now I'm looking out for it. Oh, there's a trail we were just on below by the river. Another bench. Actually, this is a better vista. You can see the waterway way over there and also the one down below. The vegetation is very thick through here. There's the RV park that I showed in the last video. Trail this way continues on. This one's going down, down. That would be obvious. Oh, it looks like we've had some washout here. Oh, this is kind of odd. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. I've had some washout. You're going in the washout area, Mumu? That's cool. Go ahead. Good girl. All right, I think we're almost done with the trail. That was a nice, peaceful walk. Did you enjoy yourself, Mumu? Yes. All right. Down, down we go. We made it back to the rig. I'm glad I actually stopped and checked that out because that was very enjoyable. But we got to head back to Kerrville. Take the next right onto Texas 16 South. All right, we're gonna be getting on 16 South. And Kerrville is about 20 miles away. Continue on Texas 16 South for 19 miles. Wow, 70 miles an hour on this road here. That seems excessive. This small road. I mean, it is a four lane highway, but still. It's not an interstate. Live Oak Creek. That must be the creek that comes from the park. Nice. Continues on down the valley. Welcome back to Kerrville. Population 22,347. Your destination is on the right. All right, we've made it back to Cracker Barrel. I might actually go over to 
Lowe's or Home Depot just to mix it up. They usually don't mind at night. You stay at night. There's Jeff. Since we've already done some exploring and adventuring, I probably won't do much. Probably go grab some dinner later, though. Here, Mama, come on. Come in. Oh, you're ready to get out, aren't you? So we've come to Bella Sera to have some dinner. And in this Italian place, it looks like they have a great menu. They got good reviews. Right now, we're just starting on our salad. I've got just a regular salad with blue cheese. And they bring out these rolls, the garlic rolls. Yeah, they look really good. And then Jeff got his salad with Italian dressing. The salad was good, and so was the rolls, but our food came out. So I ended up getting the trio with the lasagna the fettuccine and the chicken chicken parmesan then we got some more rolls <laughs> and then Jeff got the spaghetti trio with meatballs the meat sauce and the um, sausage wow time to dig in this looks amazing oh my god I'm so full I cannot believe I finished that all it was so good and two garlic rolls mm. so good all right, we're gonna head back to the rigs. We walked over here, and I will say this is probably one of the best Italian restaurants I've come to as far as the, like, the taste of the food. It was really good.